Hey guys, welcome to another episode on my channel. Today we are going to talk about Pi-hole. And that's easy and really good way to eliminate most of ads from your internet surfing experience. So first thing that I have to tell you is that this is for educational purposes only. And that Pi-hole can be installed on various devices, such as dedicated PC or Raspberry Pi. For today's episode I'm going to use my Zima board and Casa OS. So in order to install Pi-hole, go to App Store, navigate to Pi-hole, install, next step, and wait until it's installed. Alright, when that is done, I'm going to click on three dots and settings. And as you can see in here, we are using port 8800. And one more important thing, uh, if you want to set a password uh, for your web interface, uh, this is place to do that. I'm going to close this and I'm going to open. Okay, I'm going to provide password, it's Casa OS. I don't need to save that password. So at this moment, PyHall is already active. And in order to use it, you have to redirect traffic from your network unit through PyHall. And there are various ways to do so. You can use your router settings to change DNS address. But if you cannot do something like that, then you can disable DHCP on your router, then redirect entire traffic towards uh, PyHall and use PyHall as DHCP server too. Let me show you. In tools, uh, there is uh, one interesting option, update gravity, we can do that. All right. And in settings, go to DNS first. In here, you can uh, check uh, request source. And if you want to respond on all uh, requests, you can use uh, this option. But as you can see, this option is potentially dangerous. So I'm going to check it. If you want to create your own DNS, you can add it in here in order to redirect traffic from uh, PyHole to this custom DNS. Plus, you can also check these uh, additional uh, DNS services. I'm going to do that. This is not necessary. And don't forget it to save these options. All right. Now open DHCP. So if you want to use PyHole for your entire home uh, as ad blocker, then you can use PyHole as uh, the HTTP server too and redirect entire traffic to it. You can also set uh, groups and clients. In here we have uh, only uh, one group that is a uh, default group. And now go to dashboard. You see that at this moment we don't have any uh, traffic running through our PyHole. And I'm going to uh, open another tab and I'm going to navigate to one local website. As you see in here, we have a, a lot of ads. And now get back to PyHole. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open uh, my uh, computer network settings. And, and I'm going to check settings for uh, Wi-Fi network that I'm uh, using at the moment. Go to IP version 4 in uh, DNS option uh, uncheck automatic and in here you are going to provide IP address of your PyHole. In my case that is 192.168.0.26 and I'm going to check apply and now I'm going to select uh, my uh, local network uh, once again in order to restart network services. Check it. You see, we are connected again. You see, we have some queries. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to refresh this uh, website. And you see, these ads are eliminated. So guys, that's all for this episode. I hope that you learned something new, something interesting. So please like, subscribe and see ya.